What up, y'all? Welcome back, Conspiracy University. All right, we have us here another one of these not so secret societies. A little different, though. It's the women. So let's get right into it. Rebecca's. The Rebecca's, also known as the International Association of Rebecca Assemblies and originally the Daughters of Rebecca, is an international service oriented organization and a branch of the Independent Order of Odd Fellows. Now, if y'all remember, I did do a video on them as well. If you want to check it out, it's there, it's there in the videos. It was initially designed as the female auxiliary of the IOOF, but now allows both female and male members. It is one of the units of the IOOF, but women need not be related to an odd fellow to be a member of the Rebecca's. As long as she meets the moral, ethical, and age requirement for admission, any woman may join. In most jurisdictions, women aged 16 or 18 years old and above can join every Rebecca Lodge. The general duties of the members of this unit are to live peaceably, do good unto all, as we have opportunity, and especially to obey the golden rule. Whatsoever ye would that others should do unto you, do ye even so unto them. All right, so it gets a little bit into the history about when they started, 1850. And uh, it talks about the guy who, oh, you know what, let, let me go ahead and read this, because this, this is kind of, a, kind of is important, right? So it says, in 1850, Schuyler, Schuyler Koufax was tasked to write a degree for women. The Rebecca Lodges were founded on 20 September 1851, when, after considerable debate, the Sovereign Grand Lodge of the Independent Order of Odd Fellows voted to adopt the Rebecca degree, largely due to the efforts of an Odd Fellow named Schuyler Koufax, U.S. Vice President, from 1869 to 1873. I repeat, U.S. Vice President, from 1869 to 73. Just goes to show you that they're, they, got, they got some deep ties, y'all. The first Rebecca degrees were honorary awards only conferred on wives and daughters of odd fellows at special lodge meetings and recipients were known as daughters of Rebecca. The name is taken from the biblical character of Rebecca. All right, so let's get here to a, a picture. Here goes one of the pictures of Liam. Look. Now, if, if look, you know, I'm not even going to go there. I'm not going to do it, y'all. I'm not going to do it. But where's that more modern one at? I got some real lookers in here. Let me zoom in for y'all. All right, check it out. Oh, oh Lord. Oh no. Yeah, they with the shits. All right, y'all. So let me go ahead and finish this up so I can let y'all get on about y'all business. The Rebecca degree ceremony is commonly, I mean, I'm sorry, the Rebecca degree ceremony is illustrated by distinctive symbols employed in the work of degree, each having a significance and an appropriate application. The beehive, a representation of cooperative industry teaching the advantages of united efforts in all the ministries of the order. The moon and the seven stars represent the never failing order which pervades the universe of God and all of nature and suggests to the members that the value of the value of system, regularity, and precision in all worthy undertakings. The dove, a universally recognized emblem of peace, has the significance in the Rebecca degree. Through the mission of love and charity, of tolerance and forbearance, Rebecca's are to strive to bring happiness to others and to promote peace on earth and goodwill to men. The lily, long regarded as the emblem of purity, is a symbol of the purity of character, of thought, of word, and of action, which are aspired to in the hearts and lives of members of the Rebecca Lodge. So one more time, you have to check it out. They're symbols. In case you ever see them represented somewhere, you know how they do gang gang. They're going to rock them symbols, y'all. They will rock them. See this bird right here? They usually have it on a little pin on their, uh, on their shirt. You know that little, y'all know what I'm talking about. You keep your eye out. Y'all can keep your eye out for that. So here goes, you know, some of the opportunities that comes with it. A bunch of bull. And here goes the Rebecca's Creed. Now, I'm not going to read it all, all right? I'm not going to read the whole thing, but I will read this part. I believe in the fatherhood of God, the brotherhood of man, and the sisterhood of woman. I believe in the watchwords of our order, friendship, love, and truth. Friendship is like a golden chain that ties our hearts together. Love is one of our most precious gifts. The more you give, the more you receive. Truth is the standard by which we value people. It is the foundation of our society. I believe that my main concern should be my God, my family, and my friends. I repeat, I believe that my main concern should be my God, 
my family, and my friends. All right, y'all see that, right? Here goes a little bit of old school pictures of them. Oh, what's going on? My bad. As y'all can see right there, y'all. They with the sheets. Now, what it doesn't mention here that I'm going to go ahead and let y'all know and tell y'all. The, the daughters of Rebecca were responsible for at least 100,000. It was over 100,000, right? That they helped bring 100, over 100,000 orphans and allegedly rehome them and find them, I guess, care and y'all know. So I do these videos on the not-so-secret societies and I'm not trying to shine light on any of these groups in a way that would, you know, potentially make them out to be good and, and, you know, great and all this and that. I do this because I'm shining light on these people who are with the shits, who keep, you know, screwing us over. I'm not saying that they're doing that. You know, I'm not saying that the Rebecca's daughters of Rebecca are actually screwing us, the people over. But. I will tell y'all, keep your eyes open. But once again, y'all, as always, I appreciate every single one of y'all who come over here and rock with me. Y'all keep your eyes open out there, homies. Stay safe.